Hello all. For this video, I'm going to be showing how to change out the memory on a Lenovo ThinkPad T60. Uh, Lenovo, sorry about the video, I'm having to use my webcam. But as you can see, it's uh, Lenovo T60. It's actually pretty easy. First thing you're going to need to do is turn it over. And there's going to be some screws we need to pull out. Now, each one of the screws is going to have a little arrow in it on it. I don't know if you can see the little arrow right above the screw. It's right there. And we're going to need to pop out each one of those. So, this is the way it's, this part's pretty simple. We're going to need a little screwdriver for that. I'm just using a straight one, but this could flip and be a, a Phillips too. So we're going to start with pulling these out. Alright, the ones with the arrows, there's five screws there. They're pretty easy to see because they got the little arrow pointing to it. And they'll just be popped out. The ones that they don't have little arrows on are these back here, but that's really only if you need to pull the cover off. So I'm not going to pull those since we're just changing out the RAM. Flip it back over. Open it up. And now we're just going to pop this bottom plate off. It just snaps off. You be a little careful with it because you don't want to break any of the snaps, obviously. And basically it pops off like that. There's going to be a little white tab right here where the connection goes. And you want to pull on the little... Uh, right here on a little thing so you can pull it out. Some people can you can actually leave, leave it in if you're pretty nimble just to pop the memory out because here's the RAM right here but I'm going to go ahead and pull this just in case somebody wants to to get more access. And there's the memory right there. So you just pry these apart, pop it out. You could do the same with the bottom one but I'm just going to pop out this top one. And I'm going to pop in a new one here. Got to make sure they line up. And there it is. It's in. This right here is going to go back on. I said it can be a little bit tricky to get this connection in. But uh, I'm going to give you a closer shot here. Here's a closer shot of what the memory looks like. Hopefully you can see that. And what the little plug looks like. And so here's the plug right here that goes onto it. Like I said, you, you, if you're nimble enough, you probably don't even need to pull this plug. But that 
that's the way that would go in. And then we're just going to snap it back into place. All right, it's all snapped back into place. Now we're going to close the lid, hold it. Obviously, there should be no battery or power supplied, but you know, that's basically it. Then we're just going to put the screws back in to where they go. Each of the little holes they go into, all these screws are the same size, so go back into the little arrow holes where the, they're pointing to. And screw it back together. And since I really don't need to show you after this, that's basically it. And when you reboot the computer, your new memory should be automatically recognized, your new RAM, and you should be ready to go.